to move over your email, that needs to be done with some kind of migration application. Google have some built-in tools in the admin panel, which will allow you to connect to other mail systems and basically suck across the data. Migrating, Google Workspace from Microsoft 360 will bring all my email accounts or do I have to open each account individually? When you're doing a migration, there are a number of steps to go through. One is you need to configure all of the users. Two is you need to set up your DNS, which will change your mail flow. Three is you need to migrate your data. Now, each of these have pretty in-depth steps and the reason we don't publish or haven't so far published a guide on the internet of how to do this is because it's a pretty challenging process and it's one of those things like I could give you some bricks and some timber and some concrete, but I wouldn't trust you to build a house for me. There are unknown unknowns when you migrate data and we have a whole team of 60 people who are experts in migrating data in managing that change management process of changing over from Microsoft to Google. If you have the time to read all the instructions manuals over a weekend and you don't mind a bit of downtime or a bit of lost data potentially, go ahead and give it a crack yourself. But my strong recommendation is that you engage a professional team to get that done. And we have a whole business around it because so many people break things when they try and do it themselves. Now, to move over your email, that needs to be done with some kind of migration application. Google have some built-in tools in the admin panel, which will allow you to connect to other mail systems and basically suck across the data cloud to cloud, or you can use a number of third-party tools that are available. And those third-party tools can make the process easier, can reduce the chance of errors. And in some cases, they are very affordable to get that to work. Next step is you need to change your DNS settings. And typically what we would recommend is you first migrate your emails, then you change your DNS settings, and then you do what we call a delta migration, which is you migrate just the emails that have come in since you changed the DNS records. Because remember, DNS records can take up to 48 hours to propagate across the world. And so unfortunately, sometimes you'll still have emails going to your old email service after you've cut over and you don't want to lose those emails. So you've got to bring them across. So once you've got that done, obviously, by that stage, you'll already have your users set up. It's pretty much the last stage of getting switched over to Google. Once your emails are cut over with your DNS records and you're ready to rock and roll, you're off to the races and good to go. You may choose to do an archival or a cleanup of your legacy or existing mailboxes, whether that be your Mac mail, whether that be Outlook PST files, which is the database of all your emails inside of Microsoft Outlook, or even if it's an online service, it might be a good idea to take an archival copy of all of your email data for you and the rest of your users and zip it and save it somewhere like your Google Drive, just as a just in case, if for any reason, the emails have not fully come across to your new Google Workspace account. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this. Click the link below to get started.